Hello, morning to all. This is Mohammad Abbas and I am a student of MSc Management with Finance at BBB University of London. Today I am going to present my master's dissertation and my topic is an investigation of the factors influencing inward FDI in the UK based on time series 2010 to 2016. Executive summary. This research is a statistical analysis of the inward FDI in the UK based on time series 2010 to 2016 and there are 10 key factors such as population, GDP, inflation rate, exchange rate, housing prices, information communication technology, import goods and services, export goods and services, and GDP. Inward FDI has a positive relationship with exchange rate, tourism, housing prices, population inflation, and information communication technology. The last one is Inward FDI is not influenced by the imported goods and import goods and services, export goods and services, and GDP. Introduction aim. The aim of the research is to analyze the economic determinants of the UK inflow foreign direct investment over the period 2010 to 2016 and seen as an important input of foreign capital for the economy in the UK. Objectives there are three objectives. The first one is to analyze the factors of inward FDI in the UK. Second one is to identify the relationship between the consumer price index and inward FDI in the UK over the period 2010 to 2016. And the last one is to examine the sources of competitive advantage to attract inward FDI in the UK for the period 2010 to 2016. Literature review. Foreign direct investment determinants of FDI, FDI in the UK like exchange rate, inflation, population, labor supply, GDP, import and export, tourism, house prices, information communication and technology. The gaps. This study has identified the following research gaps. The first one is different time series has different answers. Second one is some similarity and some contrary findings. Third one is different geographical locations of the research obtain different answers. And the last one is different size of time series. Research has impact on the research. Methodology and analysis. Research paradigm. Research paradigm is considered the first layer before research approaches and there are different kinds of research paradigm like positivism, pragmatism, etc. Research approach, there are two kinds of research approach, inductive approach and deductive approach. I am doing secondary research, so I choose deductive approach. It is also called waterfall approach because it is based on existing theories to develop the geographical, to develop the hypothesis through the observable information in order to generate credible data to find the answers. Research strategy, research strategy, statistical analysis, research method because it's a secondary research, so I choose quantitative method. Statistical data hypothesis tool. I selected a different kinds of tool for gathering information like UNCTA website, Bank of Scotland site, nationwide reports, offices of national statistics. Hypothesis. I generate six hypotheses and align them with high uh, analysis to support my research. The first one is increasing population will increase inward FDI in the UK. Second one is GDP and house price have positive relationship with inward FDI in the UK. The third one is increasing inflation and exchange rate will reduce inward FDI in the UK. The fourth one is import, import tariff and export have positive impact to the inward FDI in the UK. The second last is tourism in the UK has a positive relationship with inward FDI in the UK. And the last one is information communication technology has a positive relationship with inward FDI. Objectives. Finding the first one is 10 key factors of the inward FDI, which are population, GDP, inflation rate, exchange rate, imports goods and services, export goods and services, housing prices, GDP, uh, information communication, technology. There is a positive relationship between inflation and inward FDI. The result shows that inward FDI has a strong positive relationship with exchange rate, tourism, housing prices, and population, but it has a big positive relationship with information communication technology and inflation rate. These are the key sources of inward FDI over the period 2010 to 2016. Conclusion and managerial implications. Managerial implications. The main contribution of this study is to find the key factors of FDI through a quantitative research over the period 2010 to 2016. Exchange rate is the main key factor of inward FDI in the UK. Others are Tourism, housing prices, and population. Inward FDI has a big positive relationship with inflation rate and information communication technology. 
limitation. I select 10 key factors and I think it's a small sample for testing a theory and I have to work for the period of time 2010-2016 I think it's a small period of time because long time changes may impact different results. Future study. Future study need to consider primary data such as surveys and information to get the knowledge of contemporary information about invert FTI because this may not information gathered from the uh, foreign investors like which key factors influence them to invest in this country and the future researchers will consider to take long time series to test the theories. That's it. Thank you. Thanks a lot.